In a space-age metropolis where snake people wear business suits and work in offices, there's a whole new level of future crimes that ordinary police just can't handle. And there's only one extremely multiracial SWAT team that's up to the task. In the sci-fi strategy equivalent of that Will Smith movie with the orc cop. No holes? Only the ones I was born with. Are your holes? XCOM Chimera Squad. Overwatch your way into the latest XCOM spin-off that breaks from its predecessors by not being 100% dog shit. We'll take control of a special squad that's about half humans and half enemies from the last two games as they track down the culprits that car bombed the mayor by picking some unrelated criminals at random, busting into their warehouses and shooting them all until they happen to stumble into some intel about their actual target in a perhaps too accurate simulation of an actual police force. Uh, look, if that alien wasn't personally involved, he probably knew the guy who did it. Just uh, sprinkle some drugs on him and call it a day. Discover all new changes to the game's tactical layer as Chimera Squad focuses on a single city and takes out the thrill of base management, but still gives you plenty to juggle, like districts to maintain instead of countries an anarchy meter to replace the old doomsday counters, and enough research, training, and special ops to keep your unused squad mates occupied, while you constantly keep the one lady that can heal in your party. Because this is still XCOM, and you're absolutely going to miss a 99% shot, and then eat shit every once in a while. Deploy the finest creepy aliens Chimera Squad has to offer as this new game leaves behind the time-honored tradition of user-generated grunts named after your friends that die in horrible ways, for a roster of actual characters that you'll assemble over the course of one campaign, each with a suite of unique abilities that either replace ones from the old games, or do entirely new and deeply abusable things, like free action grenades every encounter guy, damage everyone on the map at once with mind powers guy, or the snake lady that can spit poison claws and wrap dudes up in her horrible snake body. Guy. That one would be more effective if it wasn't already my fetish. Oh yeah, baby, squeeze me! Squeeze me like the bad little mouse I am! Wait, what were we talking about? Blast your way into the revamped battle system of Chimera Squad, as the brand new breach mode lets you start every encounter by busting down doors, windows, or walls and getting off a free batch of shots or attacks on your largely unsuspecting foes, allowing you to take down the fastest or most dangerous enemies before they even get a chance to do their bullshit, which combined with your overpowered new abilities and the tiny map size can turn the first half of the game into an absolute massacre at all but the highest difficulties. And if you're having trouble, guess what? They took out permadeath too, with abject failure only meaning that you have to retry the mission and the only penalty for your guys taking legal damage is a debuff you can remove in the training room, making this objectively the easiest XCOM game ever made. And at the $20 price tag, that makes it a great way to get into the series. Because if you're one of the guys who's mad about how they made it more casual, you're probably 200 plus hours into a heavily modded Phoenix Point campaign anyway. So suit up with the men in black, or whatever shade of body armor you prefer and get ready for some grid-based gun chess in a bite-sized experience that sits comfortably in the space between the Twee Children's toy box of Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle and the aggro bro grid of Gears Tactics. I don't know why that game didn't go grid-based. Their characters are already basically square-shaped. Starring Alien Lives Don't Matter Today The Chad Alien The Virgin Visitor Clayless, Renata Moore, Shira, Fiverr Healer, Nightcrawler, Edna Mode, Hairless Spock, Abby Normal, and Huge Sacks of Venom. Oh, God. E T P D. Honestly, I'm excited Firaxis has decided to start expanding the XCOM universe. Now, all we need is the real dream, a civilization with XCOM combat, right? Who wouldn't want to see Gandhi headshot Napoleon? Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below.
It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Friends are just enemies that don't have the guts to kill ya. You can't handle the truth! Sub-Zero wins. Fatality. Have withstood pain to create many weapons. Yet, those hands will never hold anything.